Hundreds of fish have been found belly up in the Malibu Lagoon State Beach. It's a massive die off, and as you can imagine, it's causing quite a big stink in that area. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live with what is happening? What's causing it? Cara. Jeff, there is a strong stench here. So as soon as you walk up, you know something is not right. And behind us, you can see some of the crews are wearing face masks as they pull out these dead fish, put them in the bags, and cart them away. A state park employee moved in with a wheelbarrow and a grim task, removing up to 1,500 dead fish. You've had similar incidents before, but do you mm -hmm. remember anything this big? No, not to this degree, no. Craig Sapp is a district representative for state parks. He says scientists are looking into what caused the mass fish kill discovered in Malibu Lagoon Thursday. Their working theory, it was at least partially triggered by unusually warm water temperatures. In addition to that warm weather, we've had uh, a condition where we weren't getting the coastal fog we would have to kind of keep the temperatures down. So I think, and again, that's just a work in theory. We've, we're taking water tests. We're taking, we've taken fish for testing. It's a disaster. Andy Lyon blames the fish deaths on the 2012-2013 restoration of this lagoon, which he and many of his neighbors fought. He says it resulted in the lagoon's waters not mixing properly with the ocean and fish getting trapped. What's not natural is that this amount of water is stuck behind the sand berm in the middle of summer. This thing needs to be cut. It needs to be cut up at the top of the beach here and flushed out. State and federal laws prohibit a man-made breach, but SAP says experts will look into whether other things can be done to nudge water flow and improve circulation. He says the lagoon project has improved oxygen levels, so fish populations are once again thriving. Ironically, he says, this mass fish kill is evidence of their growing numbers. And you can see some of the dead fish on the surface there. The fish killed appeared to be mostly mullets. There are some endangered fish that live in this area, but state parks uh, officials tell us those do not seem to be affected. So some good news there. Jeff and Sharon, for folks who want to come out here and make their way past this, the state beach is still open. Oh. Okay. okay. Well, by all means, enjoy. Okay. You can enjoy the site. Just plug your nose. That's yeah. quite the sell. Make sure you have, wear a mask. Had we gotten there a little sooner, we could have called Nobu. It's only right up the street. <laughs> and, hey. I wonder if you're going to start to smell that from the country mart. I know, right across. Oh, yeah, right. Gosh, yeah. I can't even imagine. But